What is up, car addicts? Welcome back to the series where I build popular movies slash TV show vehicles using cars in GTA Online. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what movie slash TV show car you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next build video. Now again guys, as much as the community loves the Fast and Furious cars, I will be making a separate series for those builds. So again, this movie slash TV show series is going to be the other popular non Fast and Furious cars. So in today's video, we're going to be building the 1963 Volkswagen Beetle from the Herbie movie franchise. There were a total of six movies made, starting with the first one, which was called The Love Bug in 1969, and the last one being Herbie Fully Loaded in 2005. The vehicle we're going to be using for this build is the BF Weevil, which is perfect because it's directly based on the VW Beetle, and Rockstar even gave us a couple liveries that are pretty similar to Herbie as well. So this car can be found on the Severn San Andreas website for a normal price of $870,000 or a trade price of about $650,000. But anyways, let's go ahead and start the build for Herbie. Alright, Herbie build, let's do it. Alright, so first thing you have here is the Weevil Custom build. Now they do offer the Herbie style livery with the Weevil Custom, but that thing just is completely <laughs> way too custom and hot rotted for what we're going for here. Um, or any Herbie build that is, so we're not going to do that. I'm going to skip that. Um, now usually for these builds, I always go full armor and most of the performance mods, so we're going to stick with that here as well. Um, brakes. So from bumpers, now the actual Herbie, um, it did have a slightly different looking bumper um, compared to the stock, but if you go through all the different bumper options here, you'll find that the <laughs> closest one is going to be the uh, stock because they don't have one similar enough to the real one. So again, this is going to be the closest, so stock for the front and same situation with the rear. You're also going to keep it stock. It's going to be the closest from all the options we have available. Um, engine. Exhaust. Now the stock exhaust sort of have like a rusty look to them, so you either want to go with chrome or the big bore, which is a little bit bigger. Now personally, in terms of accuracy, um, I think the chrome exhaust, which are the smaller exhaust tips, are a bit um, more accurate, so we are going to go with those. Fenders. Now you have the headlight hoods, and to my knowledge, I did all the research I could find. Um, and to my knowledge, the only um, Herbie movie that had the headlight hoods was the last one, Herbie Fully Loaded from 2005. Um, all the classic movies from the 90s and uh, from 1969 all the way to 97, they had the uh, stock um, sort of a headlight look. So depending on what your build you're going to go for, if you're going for more of a classic build, definitely stick with the stock. If you're going for more like the modern Herbie build, you can go with the headlight hoods. Um, I'm going for more like the classy build, so we are going to go with the stock. Um, hood, you're also going to keep the stock. Hood accessories, also stock. Herbie definitely didn't have a shovel and an axe taped to his hood, so <laughs> not doing that. Um, lights, also stock, with the yellow there. Um, liveries, alright, so we do have um, two different liveries you can choose from. The first one is the BF Cup Car. Um, pretty similar, especially if you have like a crew emblem, you can slap on the door that says 53. Like that, that would be really, really cool. Um, second one is going to be the Forgotten Race Car. So this one is probably the most similar. Um, however, it does have all the sponsorship stuff on it. And the rusty livery um, is forced with it. So <laughs> it's really unfortunate. I wish they would have given us one called... Um, race car and then another underneath called forgotten race car unfortunately you're either stuck with rusty herbie or clean herbie <laughs> without the sponsorship so um, i think bf cup car is going to be the closest uh, this one's also kind of similar however this one has the italian stripe look with the green and red so that one doesn't work either so again forgotten race car because i'm going through all of them here so again forgotten race car bf cup car i'm going to go with the bf cup car for this one uh, continuing to respray. Now, um, pretty much all the Herbies, except for the last movie, I think they changed it a little bit. Um, the, the base color was basically a color somewhere in between ice white and cream. Cream is way too dark. The ice white is way too bright. So, 
Uh, it's sort of like somewhere in between, and then frost white is m too much on the gray side. Um, so again, ice white or cream. Um, now I already went ahead and made a crew color. It's not exact like the real car, but I basically wanted somewhere in between. So if I throw the crew on here, you can see there, and then if I do a secondary so we can compare to ice white, you can see that the uh, top one there is darker. So you can see it's a bit more like the cream side. Uh, cream is way too dark. Frost white is way too gray. So I think the um, our crew color that we made there is, is somewhat similar. Could be a bit darker, I would say. Um, however, I mean, I think it looks pretty a lot better definitely than the ice white or the cream. So we'll do that. Um, let me just make sure here. Yep, so primary, secondary, both crew. Perfect. Um, trim color. Now, the the earlier cars, they did have like a gray slash silver interior. Um, however, the later cars, they had uh, more like a color matched interior to the exterior. So, it, it really just depends on what you did with the exterior. Um, then you can go ahead and make that match the interior. Now, if you're doing a custom crew color like I did, there's no option to paint your interior crew color. So <laughs> you have to go with the cream, ice white, or frost white, whichever one of the three you chose. Um, most people will probably go with the ice white. So you're going to have to have that match. If not, you have two different tones of interior here, which really doesn't work. Um, so to me, I'm going to go with the more classy interior. So we're going to go with the blue or silver. I think this is going to be the closest. Plus, you know, we can make the rest of it match, so this works. Um, roll cage, go in here. Now, some of the Herbie models in the earlier movies, when they were doing, like, the racing scenes and stuff, they did have the um, roll cage, if you look closely. Um, however, I, I think it just ruins the look. I mean, in most movies, it didn't have it. So, I'm going to go without the roll cage. I think it looks a lot better. Um, roof. Now, the real car did have a the very cool rag top option that opens, uh, kind of like a sunroof, but with the rag top. I mean, that was so, so cool. And it even had the stripe kind of painted on it as well. I mean, it just looks so, so cool to match the rest of the car. Unfortunately, we don't have that option here. Really sucks. I would have loved to have seen that. We just don't have it, unfortunately. Um, I think the Brioso has it as an option, but <clears throat> this one this one doesn't have it for some reason, so... Stock will be the closest. Skirts. Now, some of the cars did have chrome running boards. Um, uh, most of them did have the, bla uh, the uh, black running boards with a little chrome trim, which the closest is going to be the uh, basic, as you can see here. But you can go with either one, chrome or basic. I'm going to go with the basic ones there, so we'll do that. Spoiler. Now, of course, you're going to leave the stock, but if you're going for one of the Herbie fully loaded, you know, custom build, you can go with one of the wings, but... I'm going for more of a classy build, so I'm going to stick with stock there. Uh, suspension, the car is actually pretty perfect in terms of ride height, so we're going to keep that stock. Transmission, we're going to do that. Turbo, uh, turbo we're going to skip, so we don't have the turbo sound. Wheels. Now, this one you really have to think about carefully, because if I show here, we go to secondary color, you can see that your stock wheels are linked to your secondary color, which is really good, honestly, because... The real car, the wheels always were color matched to uh, the, the actual body of the car. So it's kind of cool how Rockstar did that. Plus the stock wheels are already similar enough to the real car. So that works out perfectly. Um, however, depending on what build you're going for, um, in a lot of the um, Herbie earlier movies when they were doing the racing scenes, um, they basically just popped off the hubcaps. I think, at least I think that's what they did. And then you kind of had more of a, a steely looking wheel, like this retro steely here. So if you want to go for that look, you can do that with the retro steelies. However, you can't make it match your primary color. So, you know, if, if you have a custom one. So again, the, the color situation with the interior and the wheels is something you really have to think about before picking certain parts. So... Anyways, um, and if you're going for the um, NASCAR Herbie from Herbie Fully Loaded, you can go with the Hot Ring Steelies, paint them black, throw the white tire, le tire lettering on there, and boom, you have the NASCAR build with the spoiler and all that you, you can put, so that looked pretty cool as well, but I just love the classy look with the stock wheels, absolutely perfect, um, and these wheels, they also have them in the lowrider category, they're called the classic rods, so boom. All right. Yeah, they're not exact, but 
Yeah, these are a little different actually. Now that I, if we go back and forth, I thought they were the same, but no, the hubcaps on the stocks are slightly different. Okay. All right. Um, what are we missing? Windows, you're going to keep that stock. All right, so the last thing we're missing is the plate. I don't know why I skipped over that. My bad. Okay, so uh, for this one, you're going to go with the yellow on black, very similar to the real car. Now, the lettering on the real one was OFP with a space and then 857. So that was the real plate lettering there for those of you who want to make that match. However, Rockstar hasn't done their website for the custom plates at the time of this recording as of yet so we're still waiting for that uh but i'm just gonna stick with the generic uh, plate text for now and do the black and yellow plate um, and that's all the options there all right let's uh, take it for a drive here looks so good love it let's go herbie oh it's raining oh all right first person here Looks fantastic. Rockstar did a fantastic job of this interior. Look at that dash. Looks fantastic. The seats, very well made. Alright, it's floored here. This exhaust note is pretty good too. And it's pretty quick for what it is. I mean, it is in the compact class and it's a classic compact car. And it moves. It moves very well for what it is. Now, this car, uh, you can see again, in the compact car class, you can see in the bottom right. And I believe this is the only vehicle in the compact class that can do wheelies like the muscle cars. So, see it does the wheelies there. Kind of like the real Herbie, and it actually does a pretty good wheelie. Look at that. <laughs> That's a pretty substantially long wheelie, except for when you crash in the rain. But <laughs> this is a, a pretty substantial wheelie. I mean, it's very, very cool uh, that Rockstar did that as a nice reference to, to Herbie. They really put the effort in this one. You can tell they cared. And this car came out with the Kyo update. So, you know, that update was a massive update. And Rockstar actually put a lot of effort into that one for the most part. Uh, didn't have that many cars, but the cars they did add were very well made. Uh, most of them, that is. So, yeah. Alright, let's um, open all the doors and stuff here. Vehicle doors. Let's go to all. Boom. So you do have the uh, matching uh, spare tire up front, and that's another reason that you should stay with the stock wheels because you know you can have your spare match, which I think is super cool, the color and everything. That is just awesome. That detail is fantastic. Even the battery is in there too. I mean, <laughs> Rockstar did a very good job with that. Here's the interior. I think the gray is definitely the right move in contrast with the white. You got the floor mats in there to match your primary exterior color that is so so cool love it and of course you got the engine model back here and if i turn it on equal engine boom you can see the belt and the pulleys actually move in this one in this engine model that is awesome see that is the detail we want in newer cars so so well made now this thing, you know, it, it's it, it's not like a super cheap. It's six hundred and fifty thousand trade price, eight seventy normal price. So if you buy it for the normal price and fully upgrade it, you're definitely over a million dollars on this car. However, at the trade price, I think it's a little more worth it, especially um, if you keep most of the performance and armor stock. You really don't need that. I mean, this is not a super fast compact car, um, and you know, I think at that price with less performance mods, I think it's definitely worth it. Especially with all the details. I mean, the dash, door panels, the seats. There really is, like, nothing I don't like about this car. Rockstar actually did a really good job. It drives nice. It sounds pretty good. The engine model looks great. The interior, the performance mods. The only thing I wish we would have had was maybe closer bumper options. Um, and then the rag top uh, option for the roof. That, that would have been amazing. But other than those few little things... Man, they really, really did a good job with this thing. So, definitely worth getting if you don't have it already. If those of you who are a fan of the Herbie movie franchise, um, I think I think it's awesome. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what movie slash TV show build you want to see me do next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.